try that again. In my opinion, the two most exciting things that we can do in the hobby are, number one is having a full empty tank, loads of hardscape, gravel, plants, and getting ready just to do that first new build. And number two is going to the fish shop to buy new fish. Now, as many of you know, recently I got my first online fish come, which was cool. And obviously you should do that if you can't find the stuff you want specifically at a local store. But nothing beats going to your, your shop and just looking around and picking out the fish you want. It's so fun. Every time I go to the fish shop, no matter what it is, it always feels like Christmas. You know, that little excitement feeling of what's going to be there today, what isn't there. Because obviously they, their stock's changing all the time. And you never know what's going to be there. So I've also actually got Doodlebug with me. Say hello, Doodle. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the fish shop for the first time in a long time. I didn't put him in the last shop because it would have ruined it. <laughs> but never mind. yeah, he's coming along too. You get some fishes, yeah? Yeah. What fish are we getting? Um, angel fish. No, we've already got angel fish. Memos. We're getting Memos. <laughs> So obviously there's the global pandemic going on at the moment, which isn't ideal. But at the end of the day, the fish shops are open. I can't wait to go there again, it's been ages. Now wearing face masks in our country is voluntary, so our, our government don't deem it necessary. Let's go take a look at these fish. Boom. <laughs> you ready to get some fish? What's that say? What's that? What number is that? Two. Number two, yeah? Are you two? No. Three. You're three? Oh, sorry. Look at this sign here, little doodles. It says we have to follow the arrows, okay? We'll do that. Yeah? Look. Chameleon. Can you see him? There he is. There you go, he's moving. Like Uncle Adam's, yeah? yeah. Oh, he stood up. The size of this discus as well, look. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look at those ones over there. Look, giant gourami. <laughs> and a parrot, look. Parrot? Yeah. <laughs> this one parrot as well, look. Hello. What's he saying? I think he's saying hello. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Doodles are currently in the little, uh, I think this is like the main lizardy sort of reptile section. Down the bottom, look, they've got tortoise. Can you see him? Tortoise? Yeah, can you see him? Yeah, he's in the back room. Yeah, but up here, they've got a snake. Look, there he is. Can you see him? Oh, hang on, let me lift you up. See him? Yeah? What's his head? His head's there, he's looking at you. Oh, it's, where's his tail? In the, his little house. <laughs> yeah, so basically, I've got everything I now need from Exoterra. They've sent me absolutely everything to start doing all of this. So, and look, we've got all loads of baby baby snakes in here as well, guys. That's coming soon. I need to sort out the second studio first. It's one of my next jobs to do as well. So that's all coming soon. I cannot wait for that. Yeah, loads of tortoise. Is, is that his house? One's in there as well? No? So we've got all these reptiles behind me. I'm really looking forward to getting the snakes mainly, um, but the geckos as well. But it's going to take the time of it. I'm going to do a nice simple setup first, like I said to you guys, get that right, and then move on to sort of more bioactive styles. In this one, we've got a European-eyed, yep, European-eyed lizard. This one is Doodles. Can't see, look, he's just sat there. We don't want to blind him though, so I'm not going to go close. Right, let me turn the light off.
full coral section here guys as many of you know i'm going to be doing a coral tank i'm going to be doing something like that in my cube aquarium some point in the near future <laughs> when i've switched everything around in the studio So there may well be a global pandemic, but there's still loads and loads of fish and we've got tons to choose from in here, guys. I've got something funny for you, yeah? I need you to look inside what's in here. Can you see what's in there? Look inside, go right close. Ready, three, two, one, rah! <laughs> it's a fishy, yeah, it's an eel. It's an eel. He's just hiding in there. Can you just see him? It's a bit dark, but that's his little house. So obviously the main reason I'm here is for the quarries. And in this tank, we've got these orange Venezuelan quarries, which are absolutely perfect. Obviously I'll get close-ups of them. And then in this middle tank, there's currently only one little pygmy quarry. So I'm going to buy him and then I'm going to buy some more to go with him later on. In here, we've got a vampire shrimp or armor shrimp. Now it's, I've got one, I've still got it. I never see it because it's always hiding in the river. Uh, Vlad, we call it Vlad. Uh, but just at the back here, there's an absolute monster, which is apparently the size that some of them can get. All right, so at the top there, look, that's the normal size one that I've got. And look at the, oh, not my finger. That absolute monster just sat there. <laughs> For a sense of scale, look, there is my hand. It would sit in my hand. <laughs> That's crazy. Also a fish I quite often forget about is the glow light Danio. And I'll just look at this. Look at that schooling. That's awesome. Maybe I should get a few of those at some point as well. I haven't got a tank set up for them at the moment. Maybe I could do something independently with one of my nano tanks. I think that'd be quite a nice little setup actually. Look at that. We've got some large angelfish as well, guys. Look, this one here staring at me. He wants to be bought. He's like, can you please buy me, please? <laughs> this one's nice as well. These are really nice angels. Look at that one. Stunning. They're not um, ultimate angels, but you know, this one looks like it color wise. Obviously it's not, but really nice looking fish. And as always guys, safety first. You waiting to go in, baby? Come on then. Go on then. No, she's deaf. She can't hear me anymore. No, look that way. That way. There you go. <laughs> so the new co why am I clapping? So, so the new coys have been temperature acclimating now for well about 30 minutes. They're all good. They're ready to go in. So I'm just going to pour them into a bucket, into a net, so we don't get that water into our tank, and then I can put them straight in.
Well, that all went perfectly. Now, I think I said in the shop that I was going to be putting this well the Venezuelans into the uh, ecosystem aquarium, but given that these get a little bit larger, more than pygmy corys anyway, I think I'm going to put the school of pygmy corys over an ecosystem tank. We've got one of them acclimating already. I will be getting more. They've got more coming in apparently, so I will go back and get them. These guys are doing great in here. Can you see them? Yeah, yeah. They're doing great in here, and they'll be just the right size. Now keep that sand moving around on the bed there. This tank needed corys as well, you see, so it was either going to be one or the other anyway, and perfect choice really. I think they look great. And you know, that's just what I love about actually going to the fish shop. You can just see something you didn't even think of, have a little look, go outside, do a little bit of research, make sure it's okay. I say go outside because there was no internet inside. <laughs> Big metal roof just blocks any signal, but it worked out all perfect in the end, and they look great. Now, let's get this pygmy in. <laughs> So yeah, just as currently the one pygmy quarry. Now it's not ideal because they are a schooling fish, but you know, he can, he's got a better life in here, at least with all the other fish and all of this plant life than he did have in the aquarium shop on his own. So I feel like I'm doing something good and I'm already lining up getting some more. I reckon I can have a good school of about eight in this, in this aquarium. Six to eight, I think it'll be just ideal to keep all that sand. So you can see all the sort of mulm just sitting on the surface of the sand there. Now, if I get a good school of these quarries, they'll just keep that moving. And then the tiny little filter we've got in there will just keep working. Little top-ups, I could do with a little water top-up. So you can see how much it's evaporated. It's cut, well, you can't because I've cleaned the rim, but it's, it's gone down about a centimeter since I last showed you some water going in this aquarium, which is about two weeks ago. No, a week ago. About a week ago. <laughs> I just want to turn the camera, oh, hang on. I just want to turn the camera back on quickly because as I'm sat here filming this, look what I have to contend with. <laughs> They're just so funny. <laughs> they're always begging. They always want food, basically. That's all they're after. Oh, let's look cute and we'll get fed. And it is about their feeding time, to be fair. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but the start of this video I actually spoke about... Oh, it's bright out here. <laughs> I actually spoke about converting one of my other studios and making it into a reptile studio. That's coming soon. That's this studio right here. The one in the background is the one we just walked out of. This is my old studio where I sort of started doing the channel on. And if I open it up, inside guys is an absolute Aladdin's cave of brand new equipment. I've got one of these smaller terrariums and I've got, well, in there somewhere, two of the bigger versions. So that's all gonna possibly be going in here possibly going in a new unit I'm looking at getting potentially or either I'm going to upgrade this whole thing I'm sat in now to something similar to the one next to it so I've got two side by side potentially putting like a doorway to go in between the two or maybe keep them separate either way this is all really really exciting there's absolutely tons to come so if you're not subscribed now would be a really good time to do so because you don't want to miss out on what I've got planned for you me and us everyone everything just click the subscribe button okay